I should record for a Kaz you hate video, honestly. Howdy folks, my name is the Backwards Hunter and welcome back to Side Order. This is episode 16. And last time, we started up the blaster run. And we made it up to floor 15. We're halfway up already. I suspect that'll get slowed down. But it, it's, ki it's kind of strange. It feels jank, but it also feels easier, question mark. I don't know. Sorry, I got distracted by Oct shirt. I, I've never understood those types of shirts. Uh, where it's like the, the sleeve extends past your shoulder. It just that just feels like it would be uncomfortable. Or if it's just sitting on your on your arm. Your shoulder would go cold, does it like I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's making much of a statement to me. We should probably let's try out drone items instead of special charge up. We could run special charge up and then lock that in for the lore, but that only gives us 45, whereas this gives us 375. So we're gonna go with this for spring and jamboree. This should be fun. Where's my timer? We should crash. Oh, did I just did we just get a saturation? We did get a saturation, a range saturation. Endurance, turf, lucky chain, piercing. Interesting. Oh, this stage. Have I been on this stage before? Oh, look at that range. I have done this stage before. Oh, no. Okay. Ah, oh, sniper! Oh! You know, I think a decent Vietnam, like a, a a decent battlefield or Call of Duty game, would take place during like the Vietnam or Korean Wars. Like, it's all, it's for the past few times, it's either been focused in modern, future, or World War One, World War Two. There, there, there's been, like, no touch in the Cold War. Yeah, Call of Duty Cold War existed, but it, it didn't, it didn't really touch the actual, it, it was more like espionage, James Bond-esque action scenes, that in, like, you know, fighting against the Russians directly. There was no, like... Proxy Wars. Black Ops 1 did the best proxy war gameplay in terms of a story, I feel. Am I talking out of my ass because I've not actually played Cold War? Yes, but y y like, I, I feel like people who have played that game will agree with me <laughs> when I say that. I could go with piercing, honestly. Oh, for the danger. Mm! I'm actually upset about this. I should sweep out that danger, danger magnet, open season fortress. All oh, both of these are such good. Is this the floor? I think it is. We'll clear out for the danger, just so that that doesn't work bother us again for a bit, anyways. But yeah, even... Oh, well, that's not as bad as it could be. Pretty sure the last time I was on this stage, they did this, too. To hell with you all. I watched a video about why pirate game, current pirate games are sucking. And they boiled it down to, you gotta have one of three things. You gotta have as good a strategy as Sid Meier's Pirates from back in 89, 
No way that game actually came out in 89. It's gotta have been like somewhat re more recent than that. Right? But uh, as good strategy as Sid Meier's Pirates, as intense action. <laughs> I'm not the only one who just heard Discord notifications go off, right? Oh, that, that <laughs> I think it's part of the soundtrack. That, that threw me off. Can you stop spawning? Well, I got to do with this one. But you gotta have- What? The deuce! But you gotta have the... Yeah, the... The freedom of Sea of Thieves, the action and com and combat of Assassin's Creed Black Flag, and the strategy of Sid Meier's... Uh... No, it was the feel! The feel of Black Flag! Not the action. Well, the action too, but like... Oh, God. Now, now, now I'm gonna have to look it up. Hold on. Pirate games used to be awesome. So what's the deal? All you need is diverse and meaningful exploration, the right aesthetic and vibes, and engaging and complex... Co okay. So it's... You, got, you gotta have the exploration of Sid Meier's Pirates, the feel of Black Flag, and the combat of Sea of Thieves. That's what it is. I went on a tangent there. Not even a tangent, that was his tangent. That that video is... Why Pirate Games Keep Failing Featuring Blue Jay by the Stellar Jay. Go check out- go check out that guy. His stuff's pretty good. Oh no, the, the, the timer! The timer! I turned off the phone, now I can't see the timer. Okay. There we are. Okay, we could go with more sound wave damage. Honestly, that seems like the play. Let's go with that. Again on relentless switchback. Didn't we just do this? Oh no, this is a different one. Oh yes. Please, darling. I missed! But yeah, Skull and Bones. Ten years, they they de they dev that, and it sucks. Perish. All right. God, I have fond memories of Black Flag. I never beat Black Flag. Because at the time for storage, I was using a thumb drive on my 360, and I had taken it out for to transport the the Xbox somewhere. And when I plugged it back in, yeah, uh, Black Flag saves don't like uh, don't like being transported. The save corrupted, and so I had to restart. That happened twice. One time I was like at near the near the end. Uh, I think the the guy betrayed us. It was after Bla uh, Blackbeard died. Spoiler for a ten-year-old game. But yeah, I spent most of my time just sailing around, listening to shanties, doing side quests. Uh, ink attack size, special charge up. Should probably do special charge up. On rushing shelterless. Hot dang. Alright, place your bets now. Is the floor F boss gonna be the roly poly and I'm gonna wanna blow my brains out? Or is it gonna be the actual fun fight with parallel cannon? Which I guess is technically. Huh. Which is technically our Agent 4 representation. Well, I mean, it absolutely is our Agent 4 representation. 
because it uses your Splat Splatoon 2 Agent 4 data. And what I mean by that is that the character model is based on your Splat 2 uh, character model. Because if any of you remember Jonah, not that I actually played through the Splat 2 campaign. Maybe I should do a, a, a Splat 2 playthrough. But if you remember Jonah, which is my Agent 4, the name for my Agent, Agent 4, you'll remember what he looks like. No, wait, you won't because I didn't show, show him off. He had, a, he had a fishing hat on. I just realized that, uh, that the visors extended. Is that because of, uh, the range increases? Mmm. Ah, I see. Eh, could go with splash damage up. Uh, it would keep the danger off our, off our ass, but it's a rigorous portal. Distant wouldn't be a bad choice, I don't think. I don't really need poison ink. We'll go with the we'll go with the splash damage. What is this? A Peggy Barrage. What is this? Oh, Actually, easier than I thought it was gonna be. All right, here we go. I actually think the cannon, parallel cannon, will be a difficult fight with blaster. Intensifying harmony. This is parallel cannon. Arm in the middle, huh? Apparently the 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 end parallel cannon fight Oh, they have a rapid blaster the end parallel cannon fight Boss, like the actual one who is the cannon, the one wearing the mask. When you defeat them, they use they use a uh, ooh. They they uh, have a a squid spawn. Ah! Ooh! All right, release your minions towards me. down. Huh. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. But apparently they have a they have a squid they have a squid ghost spawn. So I'm told. 
That actually was so easy. <laughs> Dang, blaster be blaster Busying unstable footing bounce pad floor. Oh, this one. It would be funny, but we also only have nine more to go, and having Pearl set up a sprinkler probably isn't the best one. But five hundred and five mem bucks, though. 505! Like, yeah, Sprinkler is going to be next to useless, but... 505! Don't move an Octolink form. You can go screw yourself. How's that sound? Wow, that is, uh... Please! Please! Yeah, gives the gives us the stage that you can only move an octoling form. You have any sort of viable chance. Yeah, you can't you can't move an octoling form. I swear, did they even think for some of these? It's like you gotta you gotta use your th your brain here on on some of these ones, guys. Like there was no way I was making that. Oh, wow. Okay. Bonk. Bonk. Come on. There we go! It's like the, the- Sometimes you're just given challenges that you can't complete. A double sound wave damage? It would increase their lore, honestly. I think isn't a bad idea, especially if we're using the the wave breaker. Threatened all sides two bridge floor. Oh no! This is good. Also, my color change from yellow with red to red with yellow. This is. Hey, how about you do a roll a solid and cease and. The for the love of God, cease and desist. No! Yeah, no, 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 it's fine. Get out of here! Where did you come from? Oh! Okay. I. Ah! <laughs> Not like this. Okay. This is distressing. Hmm. Very distressing. Okay. No. No. Get out of here. Please die. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Hmm, yes, we're gonna soon retreat. 
That's not okay! You can't launch your fat brother! I don't think fats should be allowed to launch fats. I think this, uh, oh no. I think this game mode could use a bit of updating and tweaking. A bit of support that I know for a fact it's not gonna get. And that upsets me. The only thing they're really going to add is uh, more pain. They're going to add more. Uh, at most, they'll add a few more enemies and some more mission types. They won't actually tweak any of the any of the bad. Oh, we're Nintendo. Everything we touch is gold. Except when it isn't, but we don't talk about that. Oh my god. Can you get out of your own for five seconds? Stop. Stop. Okay. Come on. Oh no, we just we just win this. Okay, cool. Sweet. That was kind of painful, but that wasn't as bad as the flutter stage. We'd go with more splash damage. Homing swarm gateway. No, 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 no. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the vending machine. Ah. <sighs> Uh, pardon me. Really? My palette isn't filled. Okay, swim, swim speed, huh? Booyah bomb. That kind, of, that would kind of, I would take that, but that would eradicate all of my progress for Wave Breaker. No, we'll we'll take swim speed up. I will get three of them. We'll get three of them. The more lives cost, the higher up we go, huh? Probably. Main damage close? Wouldn't be a bad idea, honestly. Bombarded, whirling, divided. I don't like that. What is with it trying to insist on giving us divided floor? You without item drops, this is gonna be this is gonna hurt, but then that Why is the music so unreasonably intense? <gasps> I don't like that! I don't like that at all! Ugh. Oh, I can't glide! <gasps> okay. Be gone. So it's when do they get stronger when you hit them? No, 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 Okay, we win. Oh wow. Some tells me that by the end of this, I'm gonna be able to discern every single map. Firing speed, oh, that'd be so good. Intense homing gateway floor, S a springing gateway. Do you hate me? I'm not going with intense swarm. No, not on that. Uh, oh. uh. Lore! This one will be easier at least.
Oh, it's... Oh, wait, this stage. Oh. Dog. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um... What the? Okay. I have no idea where he wants to send that thing to. You're going to Brazil! Oh my god, guys, Jesus Christ. Chill out. Okay. One more. Punk. Punk. There and like that, we win. Whee! Easy. damage up close extensively circuit to us covered floor I mean it's the one that makes the most sense so I think we'll oh it's this one okay It won't be atrocious, but it won't be the my favorite thing I've ever done. Ah, oh. oh, I hate it already. Please, ah! my powering gone forever. Ah! I have to kill you. No, cease and desist. Cease and desist. Send it. Send it. Ooh, I could tell. I could tell you about uh, Gloomhaven. Me and my buddy have been playing a uh, Gloomhaven campaign for the better part of the better part of a year now. We play like we're both. Well, he's relatively busy. And a lot of the times when he'll when he'll text me to come over, it'll be like a splat fest, or I'll be crunching for video uploads. But a few times, just there, there's there's more than a few times that we've managed to, to get some gameplay going. And it's fun. It's... It's a turn-based fantasy, but the whole way you determine your turn is decided by cards. So you have, like, uh, my character has ten cards in his hand, and each of these cards, this is universal, each, each of the cards has a top half and a bottom half, and you com have to combine two cards to pick a top action and a bottom action. And that'll determine your turn. And depending on which card you play as first, or well, it, it doesn't matter if it's top or bottom, but like, whichever, depending on the two cards you use, you have to choose one of the numbers on that card for your initiative. And whoever has the lowest number is goes first in the initiative. And the monsters have cards as well. Sort of. It's different, but... It's close enough. Uh, targeted giants, open season gateway, or an unknown oof floor. Eight ball floor. Yeah, we'll go with the eight ball floor for close damage. Eh. Uh, floor 27, or. Mm, 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 mm. Splash damage. Increased by an extra 20, or close range damage increased by 15. Uh. 
This is a bonus. Uh, we're just gonna go for close-up damage, because since a lot of our combat is up close, this will be the last stage, and then that'll be the video. What was this? Oh, oh. Eight ball. Oh, eight balls on this stage. Okay. Ooh. Die! Another. Uh, another. Sorry. Another. AI President series. I talked about this last. Pretty sure I talked about it last episode. Uh, but like I talked about Prime Radiancy's AI Presidents playing Mass Effect. Another one is the Presidents Play Horror Games channel. And their whole shit is they play horror games. There, there's a few Oh there's a few Presidents Plays channels. But I, I I'm fond of that one. Cause uh they've been playing various horror games over the past year. Donald has uh, the and the shtick with that one is that Joe is a horror game, uh, con uh, I guess. What what's the word for it? Ah, oh, eccentric. Horror game eccentric. He basically he like he, his character in that series likes horror games a whole lot. And he introduced Bar he introduced Barack and Donald to FNAF, and they've been playing they've been playing through the Five Nights at Freddy's games, up to they've 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 completed Ultimate Custom Night. Yeah, uh, they've read through the books. I've not watched any of their book reading videos because I'm not really interested in that, but I have listened watched the series and the. The lore recaps. And that and FNAF isn't the only thing they play. They also play several indie horror games. They've been playing Poppy Playtime. They recently finished their uh, the Chapter 3 playthrough. Which I found intriguing. Uh, stage 28. This will probably be our last vending machine. Drone sprinkler, you know what? We'll just do the vending machine. We'll we'll do the vending machine, then call it an episode. Just because vending machine is easy. What do we got here? Crab tank? Screw yourself. Hindrance. Eh. Hindrance isn't really gonna help us this time around. We'll reset. Piercing, we'll take piercing. Sad I couldn't get that. At any rate, I'm gushing about AI channels I like. But, yeah, la next episode we'll finish out this run. And then I guess we'll start the next one. So, with that, we're gonna call the episode there. If you liked the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Or don't. I'm not your dad. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.